everybody, this is Palm Springs Cindy, and today is a day where Brooke and I are gonna do some girl chatting. I know the last time Brooke was on, she talked about her products, her skincare line, and I've been using it and I absolutely love it. I know a lot of you guys purchased her line and I'm hoping now that they've kind of had some time to use it. Thanks you guys, <laughs> really. And, yes, yeah. appreciate the support. And so, um, uh, several of you guys mentioned that you, not only did you like Brooke, but you, you wanted to see more of Brooke and more interaction maybe between the two of us. I then asked for you guys to write down some questions like what could we as women talk about? Not that um, Brooke and I have answers, but we can at least put the conversation on the table. We can talk about whatever concerns you guys might have, we can process it, and then through our discussion, maybe it'll help share some ideas. So with that in mind, I did write down several of your uh, questions, and so Brooke and I are gonna, um, we're gonna talk about it. Sounds really intelligent, that's <laughs> yeah. what I'm gonna do. We're gonna talk about it. Okay, so actually I wrote them down, but we said, you know, like, let's decide which ones we want to focus on, which we, which we didn't. So we're going to figure it out now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk about, um, okay, what, we're going to start out with an easy one. Because this was, uh, I thought this was interesting. Um, I think it was Scared of Mice said, why don't facial products, why aren't uh, all six products put into one cream, one jar, mm -hmm. one step? So, okay, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, that'd be so great. Okay, so here's the reason why. Because uh, if you really want an ingredient to kick, then you need to put it in at the, for me, maximum amount that it says. So if one, one active ingredient says 20% and one says five and another says four, by the time you put in all of those, you don't have any room left to put in the carrier ingredient. Well, and also, I, I liked that question, and I kind of thought the same thing, so I did ask Brooke at an earlier date, and sh this is the way you explained it to me. It totally made sense. Okay. Uh, Brooke said, okay, Cindy, it's like making a cake. You don't put the frosting, the flour, the eggs, uh, stir it all up, pour it in the baking pan, and cook it, and it comes out to be a frosted cake. You, you know, it go you do one step at a layers. time. It's layers. Layers. And so, so that's the same with uh, cosmetic, uh, facial skincare products. You layer it, you let one, and even um, Wayne Goss, Wayne is our, our facial makeup guru on right. YouTube. And he even says, um, you know, ladies, put one thing on at a time, let it absorb in your thing. skin. Give it, give yourself time. Quit slapping things on one thing after, after the, the other. other. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, do, do those of us that are thinking about what we want to have on your skin, the favor of, of, you know, like, do one thing, put your bra on, do another thing, put your underpants on, mm -hmm. put your hearing aids in, put your jewelry on, but, you know, let it, let mm -hmm. the things do what they're supposed to do. And then you can look at your makeup, like that's the frosting, mm -hmm. right? The mm -hmm. icing. Well, just like that, you wouldn't put foundation, mascara, eyeliner, all in a, all in a, con a container, <laughs> and then go, okay, I'm putting my makeup on. Why doesn't it look good? Right. Okay, so, I hope that helps explain okay. a little bit. Now, another question that we got is something that all women deal with, and that has to do with hormones. Now, this doesn't so much have to do with uh, Brooke's skincare line, and maybe it does, because she'll chime in. But um, one gal said, I'm still getting, I'm getting heat in the back of my neck. I'm still getting hot flashes. Please give me some suggestions. How do I cool down? Well, any ideas? Well, yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what I do. I don't know if this is, if work, this works in every part of the world, but um, always have a scrunchie, you know, keep the hair off your neck. Good. And I, there's a vent in my kitchen that blows uh, when it's cold, hot air, and when it's hot, cold air. And I just stand under that, uh, ice, yes. neck, ice, hair off neck, fan. All right, now ladies, regarding hormones, for my experience is I 
Um, did you go through menopause naturally? I went through premature menopause at 39 because I was dealing with infertility. So it was like, boom. So you, your body had been tampered with yes. hormonally. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I also, when I was um, in my early 40s, I, well, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I'm going to say it. I went to the doc, I went to my gynecologist to see if I could get my tubes tied because I didn't want to be pregnant again. And I was worried, I was concerned about that. And so he basically kind of took a step back and laughed at me and said, uh, you're too old to get your tubes tied. We don't do that at your age. And I was like, oh, kind. oh my God. So he said, but you know what? If your concern is pregnancy, there, there is something we can do. And come to find out, I, which I knew, I had a cyst on one of my ovaries. Uh, At 44, I had a complete hysterectomy. Wow. So they took out, you know, both, both ovaries and my uterus. It was, it was, it was hard on me. I mean, it took me a long time to recover. Mm -hmm. And then I was really afraid. Oh, and then he said, we'll put you right away. We'll put you on hormone replacement, which he did. And then I, I was on, um, progesterone and estrogen and testosterone. A combination of those, yeah. I guess. I can't really remember. Well, then I went back as he was checking on me, we decided to get rid of the progesterone and just stay with the estrogen. Then I went back and I was, I said, I gotta get rid of the testosterone. So, so we got- But did you not like your mustache? I didn't like my mustache. I was totally, my libido was, yeah. mm, so yeah. I, uh, so we got rid of that. And then um, I was on estrogen for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And then one day, and for those of you who have watched me, I have, I've had a blood clot. I had a blood clot in between my knee and my ankle on my left leg. And I knew, I knew I had, I was putting on in those days, wow. we wore pantyhose. Yes. And I was putting on pantyhose and I felt a little pain. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel a lump or anything like that, but there was this funky pain. And I thought, I've never felt a pain like that in my life. So, uh, okay, long story nice. I hate to say this, but somebody called and it messed up our video. So we're gonna pick up where we where the video left off. And we were talking, I was talking about the, um, the blood clot that I had in my leg. But the important thing, the important information from the hormone conversation is hot flashes. The thing is, is I don't think that we can look forward to someday they're going to stop. No. I don't think that they do. No, I don't, I don't either. So I, I agree with Brooke that we're going to, we're going to have hot flashes, even though both of us are postmenopausal and had, um, have had hormone replacements Replacement. throughout our lifetime. Yeah. But I think like, like Brooke said, get the aids that we need to help us, to accommodate us. An ice pack, a cold washcloth, a little fan. Um, you know, oh, standing, yeah, the little, fans, the little are fans are good. And, and so bottom line, we have to live with them and we can make them as comfortable as we can. Or go to the grocery store. <laughs> it's freezing. It's freezing. So, okay, so that's, you know, that's our home, our hormone discussion. Yeah. And then we were talking about finding a purpose as we mature. So, all right, what do you think about that? Well, to a certain extent, I think that purpose is kind of a luxury. I mean, like, you know, people, not everybody gets to retire and live the life of their dreams. Um, some people get to retire and they can play mahjong and go to yoga classes and mm -hmm. you know and they're really really happy and they're just like thrilled and other people have a very hard time with that when I moved here in the Chamber of Commerce and found like volunteer stuff to do and uh, started a business but you know by the time you get to our age you're probably pretty good at something mm -hmm. and I think it's really cool to pass along what we're good at, whether like being a teacher, mm -hmm. you're a teacher. So there's all of these young kids coming up that want to know, you know, what is teaching like? What's the, how do I decide what a good school is? Is right. it a good career? Right. And I know for myself, you know, when I was teaching, I did feel very productive. I felt like I was giving to society, 
just by the very nature of the job. But then when I retired, you know, I have to say I was, <laughs> I was one of those people that thought, you know, I've, I have gotten up and gone to school every day since I was five years old. Mm -hmm. Now I'm 58 and I get to retire. I so, long to sleep in, to enjoy my home, have coffee and watch the news, take Shelby for a walk around the block, sit on my patio. I longed for free time. And, and so I got that. And then after about two weeks, I was thinking, <laughs> what in the world is my purpose? So, you know, then I started putting together a schedule for myself. I, vol I started volunteering. Well, then when COVID hit, I was like, everything just went dark. It, it was standstill. And now I'm having trouble getting myself act reactivated. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I am kind of struggling with that. Well, I think that uh, it sort of seems like every time I go to a live gathering that people are sort of still acting like they're in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. they, they don't really remember how to socialize or it's like their first time out of the out of the barn. And uh, I think everybody's a little bit struggling right now. And, you know, adding COVID on top of being free of having to work for the first time is mm -hmm. kind of, it's harsh. And, right. But on the other hand, there have been a lot of people that have made lemonade out of it. Right. There have been a lot of people that have said, I'm going to take this year and I'm going to go through, you know, all of my photographs. There or are go, some people that are very comfortable being at home and, you know, enjoying their home and they're not the type to, they're not real social or, mm -hmm. um, uh, I know my niece who just was here for Thanksgiving, but she said that I was an extrovert and she was not. And I was, and I thought, well, and so we had that conversation. Well, anyway, what I want to say is even if you are a homebody, even if you are not one to volunteer, or go to the chamber of commerce mm -hmm. or whatever, I think that there are still moments, like when you said make lemonade out of lemons, bloom where you're planted, that kind of philosophy. Right. You know, you can still um, find purpose in life by making a special phone call to a friend, mm -hmm. by having a smile on your face. I think you can still find purpose by just having a kind heart and doing small and simple things. It's you know, it's not how big the gesture is. It's did you like make someone, did you give of yourself that day? Did you bring happiness or joy to someone else yeah. that day? And I think that's Did you go on good. Facebook and say happy yes. birthday to all the people that, whose birthday it is? Or did you, are you engaging with people that no one engages with? Right. Are you, you know? kind to your pet? You know, taking, taking your dog for a walk and I mean, being kind to animals. There are lots of ways to find purpose, I think, or feel purposeful. If you need to feel that you need a purpose. Yes. I mean, it's perfectly okay to just feel like what I need today is just pure joy and today is gonna to be all about me. Absolutely. Yeah. Like my daughter's friend said, I don't get it. If it's not about me, what's it about? We are not gonna discuss, I still have more items to talk about, but we will, do that, you will peel off and do that on another uh, video. In the meantime, I, um, Brooke uh, shared with me some products mm -hmm. and I, I just, I wanted to give her a little time because we have our face products. This is not a sales pitch. It's strictly, uh, there's more on the table and I wanted her to be able to share that with you guys. What? Is ailing you this week, Miss Cindy? <laughs> Which part of your skin are you not happy with? Okay, to be honest, I am very late for a manicure and pedicure. My nails are oh. a mess. My feet are a mess. I've been, because I've been getting stuff ready around the house for Thanksgiving, I have not been wearing shoes. And so the bottom of my feet are horrid. And I've, so anyway, my skin is ultra dry. I mean, I'm well, like shaft. Okay, okay. So we did... Last time we did the whole artisanal thing with your face, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. cleanse, mist, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. The whole routine, layering, concert on your face, um, all of that. But a lot of us forget, um, I know I do, that we have skin from here down. For that. Um, and we get really lazy. I know I do a lot. So uh, I've kind of gotten it down to 
like how to take care of your skin for idiots, lazy okay. people okay. such as myself. So what I brought you today, <laughs> what I brought you today is um, my entire routine for anybody with skin. And <laughs> that um, would beat me. Okay, so watch. This is in the shower. Okay. You're in the shower. You've done all the soapy bits. Okay, so you take this. This is a scrub. Mm. It's a really simple sugar and buttery scrub, and it, you just, mm -hmm. you know, scrub, scrub, scrub. The next thing you do is you take, this is a body oil spray. Mm. But what's really cool about it is A, it's not expensive. B, it's every bit as good as any kind of a um, facial, like, oil serum that's ridiculously priced. You can also use it on your hair. So while you're still damp, you're out there, you're damp, you're under your heating thing, spray a little. Okay, no, wait. You said we could use it on our hair? Yes. Okay. You absolutely can. Before you go to bed at night or if you've got some flyaways, you can just go like okay. that. Um, but it's got like really good um, acai oil, really, really good, like fast absorbing oils. Mm -hmm. If you did nothing but just put that on your skin, mm -hmm. it, it, it's just, it's great. And then the next thing, which you don't have to do right that second. So now you've just like scrubbed your skin, put some oil on it. You are like good to go. But say you get into bed that night mm -hmm. and like you're looking at your arms mm -hmm. and, and you wish that you had the huge amount of money to spend on um, those other products that I won't name my name, okay. but their purpose okay. is to help with crepiness. Okay. Um, this is my that's answer her, to that. That's her ride or die. This is, this is like, I don't know, God's gift to, to this part here and the just all mm -hmm. that stuff that seems to be just there's like the, the dry skin wrinkles and then there's that those soft skin mm -hmm. wrinkles but this is my answer to that you could actually put it on your face or mm -hmm. but it's really meant as a body butter okay. cream so it's got like kupachu butter in it and mm -hmm. murmuro butter and all the amazon oil butters and it lasts forever oh my gosh it really like and it smells like amazing mm. well i like Wait, it smell this sorry <coughs> <coughs> right oh my gosh yes yes it's like you're it's on so vacation pure and lush yummy um, i like that what what brooke said about <laughs> so true for me like i do have skin below my neck i know and and especially like right here. Right, yeah. So when you're um, doing your face thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. always just keep a little bit for here and a little bit for here. But don't leave this part out when you're doing your body stuff. Like mm -hmm. a lot of, I, I just noticed with a lot of women that seem to spend a lot of money on their face and they've got that glow going. And then here, when their glasses are open, you're, right. and you're seeing like it. It, I don't mind the wrinkles. I don't. I don't care about wrinkles. I care about the dryness mm -hmm. and the flakiness. And it's like, did you just like, did you forget to, to right. do that? Just, this just just here on the decollete. Do it. And it it's just really hydrating and really good. And that's your present. For <gasps> Are you kidding? Day. No, I kid you not. That's yours. And then, um, yeah. So, Thank you. You're welcome, sweetie. Well, I just want to say, I hope you guys enjoyed this little girl chat time. And we did do a bit of a QA. and a um, Not that we have answers, but we can, like, we process and questions. talk about it. We need more questions. Yeah. My dad used to always say, don't worry if you don't know the answer. Worry if you don't know the question. Oh, that's good. Right? Yeah. Good. All right. So, in the meantime, um, I hope you enjoyed our conversation. P.S. I love you. Mwah. And, code uh, Cindy World. Code Cindy World in case you're going to be looking up any of this, these products. And don't forget, and I'll also have Brooke's um, contact information if you want to email her or get in touch with her. So um, until our next conversation. Bye, you guys. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.